All right, so looks like marijuana is now legal in Canada. Yeah, October 17th, 2018. So I'm going to read this, okay? This is the Cannabis Act. And here's what you need to know. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, so I'm going to read that to you um, just so that you're educated on the laws uh, regarding the, uh, the legalization of marijuana in Canada. Um, okay, so <clears throat> the Cannabis Act is designed to better protect the health and safety of Canadians to keep cannabis out of the hands of youth and to keep profits out of the hands of criminals and organized crime. Uh, to buy, possess, or use cannabis in Manitoba, you must be 19 or older. The Cannabis Act includes strict penalties for selling or providing cannabis to youth under the legal age. Legal cannabis has excise stamp has an excise stamp, appearing in different colors for each province and territory on product labels. If you use cannabis, learn how to use it responsibly. Know the health effects, like alcohol and tobacco, cannabis has risks, especially for youth and young adults. Hmm. Don't drive high or work impaired. Um, cannabis can impair your ability to operate vehicles or equip or equipment safely. Driving while impaired by cannabis or any other drug is a serious criminal offense. Uh, to learn, uh, I'm gonna put that down here. <laughs> it's a lot better, easier to read. Um, do, do, do. Okay. If you possess cannabis, store it away from children, youth, and pets, obviously. Uh, it's illegal to take cannabis across the Canadian border. Uh, whether you're leaving or coming to Canada, this applies to all countries, whether cannabis is legal there or not. Um, under the Cannabis Act... Uh, access to cannabis for medical purposes will continue to be provided to those who are authorized by their health care practitioner. To learn more about the Cannabis Act in effect as of October 17th, 2018 and the health effects of cannabis, visit www.canada.ca slash cannabis and that link will be down below or call 1-800-O-CANADA to get informed about where you can legally buy or use cannabis in Manitoba www.manitoba.ca slash cannabis so, this is particularly for Manitoba, but I'm sure it applies to all of the provinces across the country. Um, but yeah, so, pot's legal now. So, does that mean that I'm going to give up my... Uh, cleanliness and sobriety <laughs> I've been clean and sober for nine years okay on October 24th it'll be nine years since I stopped using marijuana stopped drinking um, It's been about two years and three months since I've stopped smoking cigarettes and started vaping. So, I don't know.
but no. Um, I think the closest that I'm ever going to get to smoking pot again will be uh, getting the CBD oil for my vape. I tried that once and it was actually pretty good. It, uh, it helped with my back pain, it helped with a lot of other things. Uh, but it's very, very expensive. For a little tiny five milliliter bottle, uh, it was like 18 or $19. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I wanna actually keep spending that on a little tiny bottle like that, but it's like, it's around 30 bucks for a 30 milliliter. Or is it $30 for a 15 mil? I don't know. I'd have to go back to the uh, place where I get my juices and find out exactly the prices on that. But um, I think, yeah, I think that would be my best, uh, my best bet. Or um, what's good for me would be the CBD oil for my vape. Um, mainly because of my heart condition. Uh, if I had anything uh, that had THC in it, it could, uh, could do funny things to my heart. <laughs> um, I was reading that over the weekend, so I don't really want to mess that up in any way. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be it. This is going to be basically my vlog for today. It is just uh, letting you all know that uh, cannabis is now legal in Canada. <laughs> so, go Canada for actually uh, legalizing it. And we'll see what kind, of, uh, what kind of an impact it makes on everything and see if they actually follow through with these laws that they, that they put in place. Um, Also, I've, uh, I was reading online that you can actually um, legally carry uh, up to 30 grams on you without being arrested. So that's actually a big improvement. Uh, I think uh, up until now it was four grams that you could legally possess. Um, so they're actually, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but eh. <clears throat> we'll see. Time will tell. Um, just see if there's any kind of hidden agenda behind it or whatever. Um, they're also planning on selling this stuff in the stores like uh, packs of cigarettes only you could buy like packs of joints i don't know uh, we'll have to see on that too but i think this is good this is good you know because it decriminalize decriminalizes the use of cannabis and only time will tell what kind of effects it has on canadians and Americans alike, because you never know. Because uh, with this law in place, um, they might legalize it fully across um, across the United States as well. So you never know. Uh, they they could be holding back and waiting to see what kind of effects it has on Canada before they implement that in the states. But you never know. I don't know. Um, I like to keep an open mind about everything, so <sighs> we will see. What? Produced using recycled paper and 100% renewable electricity. <gasps> this is electric? I think they're talking about the machines that produce the paper. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's my vlog for today, and I will be back tomorrow with 
something different, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We'll see.